guys welcome back to my channel so <clears throat> this video is going to be like a vlog of the of the Cleo program that which I'm doing I'm doing their um pre-loss of my suit um I kind of talked about it a little bit in my um programs that help with law school uh, thing I'll put in the i cards um I don't know when this video will get out so just because I have other videos that have gone in between those videos, you guys will be able to see it. I will also put this in my pre-law series um, playlist so you guys can uh, look at all the videos on there too. Um, so technically the program starts on the first, but I got an email today with homework that I need to do before um, our first class. I have to read three cases, brief them, um, and I have to take a couple little, I got to take a couple practice tests and things like that beforehand so I'm gonna do that because I really don't want to do that over the weekend and even though like the classes start till Tuesday I don't know what we're gonna have to do on Monday um and I might not have time to really brief the cases so I'm gonna do a, a kid three cases I'm gonna do one today tomorrow and Thursday and let's we'll see what what happens but yeah I'm gonna show you guys what they sent me like um, I, I printed it all out and I put it in the binder um, I'm just going to show you guys um, how I do that um, because how I brief cases is probably a little bit different than with how they're going to teach us just because I do it how I was taught from in my parallel classes. So if you're interested in seeing how that goes, just keep on watching. Oh, I should also mention that the CLEO program is six weeks. So it's from June 1st to July um, 10th literally i cannot find anything about the cleo institute that was recent um and i was just kind of like well that sucks like i like i like to research like i want to know what people's opinions are about it and you know i want to know how like how like what's the the process and like i, I probably realize that people reason people don't post it because it's like oh you have to experience it but i mean i'm not gonna show y'all everything like just bits and pieces um, because if I show y'all everything, it'll be too long. Um, this year will be different because, you know, obviously Corona. So um, for the first two weeks, you do it at home. But then the last um, four, yeah, the last four weeks, you actually go out of state to, um, like, a, to like a whole school and you um, and you learn there. Um, this year, the whole school is Penn State um, Dickerson Law School. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be able to go to actually, actually go to Penn State and experience that. But I get to experience it at home. So that'll be cool. And yeah, that, that's it for this intro for real. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Hey guys, so I just want to come on here real quick and let you know what I'm doing in this scene. I'm just flipping through the two different pages for what I need to have for the class. And I'm color coding and writing my color code on the top of my case. So that way when I'm going through the case, I can just um, go ahead and highlight and brief what I need to um, later on transfer onto a piece of paper. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I don't know why I said that every time I do a new clip, but but whatever. We're gonna just keep going with this because I wanted this clip to be hella hella long, mind you. So yesterday I think I should do this clip of our meeting. That was like an IT meeting that we had yesterday. Um and then this morning I had to do a tech like a pretest. So this morning I did a pretest. And what did one I have to do another one at a couple of minutes at 10.30. It's 10 11 right now. Um, so I will say that I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but the but yeah, so basically everything's in the Eastern Standard Time and I live in California, so I'm three hours behind. Good morning, you guys. Um <clears throat> it's six oh five in the morning. Um my mom's still asleep, so I'm trying not to be too loud, but today's the first day of class. <laughs> So I don't even remember if I, well actually I know for a fact I didn't do a video yesterday and I don't think I did one, well I know I didn't do one today. Um, so I'll make, try to make sure I do one tomorrow, but basically today we just did our, we started our academic success um, panel. Um, and that's four, it's actually, that, this one's four days, I think, and if I don't know if I showed you guys, but at least I showed you day one of, um, of AIE. So AIE was two days and if I didn't, it was just like a two day thing about, um, basically about, 
how to brief cases kind of um and like how to write a look of practice exam and things like that um so for today we did um this assess thing and really this this professor oh my god i freaking love her if anybody goes to law school if anybody goes to drake university um for law school make sure you hit up professor lane she is i freaking love her like she's oh. Today is the 30th of June, so that means I am almost done with my program. It's over on July 10th. Yeah, so yesterday was the first day of contracts, um, and then we didn't have our afternoon legal writing class because people that were doing interviews did interviews um, So with um, colleges. So yeah, that's what happened yesterday. Um, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys my reading that I'm doing <clears throat> for legal, uh, for my contrast class. And yeah, so I actually really like this, this book. I hope we use, I hope I have this book in my contrast class in law school because one, I already have time to buy, pay for it. But two, this book is super easy to read and I like textbooks that are easy to read because I feel like if there's like all these big words and gotta look up a bunch of words it just doesn't make sense and like it's hard to understand but this this I like this so hopefully this is the same book I've used in law school because if it is I would be very 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 happy about it but yeah um I'll show you guys um class this class starts so yeah see y'all in a few <laughs> probably saw a clip of my legal writing class today um this is literally the last week of Cleo I'm just, like I'm excited like I'm excited but I'm sad because I won't get to see everybody in my cohort every day which is gonna be sad but we're gonna keep in contact um yeah I'm at I don't know if I told you guys this the other day but I'm at my aunt's house I'm, help, I'm watching my grandma because my cousin has a baby so my grandma can't be in the house by herself but yeah other than that um, so that's been going on. Turned in my last, well, turned in the first one of the week. Got my gray bags for property. You're going to be in property. Okay. So that's great. Um, we have turned in my final for legal writing, which was my memo. Nervous about that, but we're going to get through it. And then I also have a final on Friday. Well, no, I have a final on Thursday. And then we have a final, well, we have like a post-test on Friday along with our graduation, which for me will be at 1 2, at one o'clock. So I'll make sure I record that because that'll be interesting to like record that um, as like a closing out of Cleo, this long Cleo vlog. I might end up having to put this Cleo vlog into like two different parts, like part one and part two, just because it's so long because it's literally a span of six weeks, as you guys know. So obviously we'll figure that out as I'm editing but yeah I just wanted to give y'all an update on what's going on with Cleo and yeah 
Hey guys! Okay, so this is the last day of Cleo. We're actually about to do graduation. Um, so I'm waiting for that to start. It starts at 1 o'clock my time, 4 o'clock their time. So that's exciting. Um, we're being, we have like a guest speaker, the Supreme Justice Honorable Cleo Powell. She is our guest speaker. So I um, can't wait to show you guys the um, little catch all on the flip. So incorporated to proudly congratulate the 2020 cohort of the Pre-Law Summer Institute. Each of you completed the requirements of the program and have achieved an important goal, one that will serve as a strong foundation for your future. No matter where you plan to go next, the many wonderful learning experiences you had in this program will serve you well in your future endeavors. Remember that all of us here will always be here to support you, encourage you, and do anything we can to help you move forward in your professional goals. Congratulations to the 2020 cohort. We will now read your names, after which you may say a sentence or two, a brief remark to the, to the attendees. It is now my honor to introduce our assistant director, Julie Collins, and our fabulous GOAT, TA, and tech coordinator, Jackie Stryker, who will read everyone's names. Hey guys, so I'm editing the vlog, and I just want to close out because I definitely didn't do that the day of graduation. But, um, I am officially done with Cleo. I haven't gotten all of my grades back yet. I just only got in, I just recently got my... I'm looking writing grade. I also got to be in that. So we're looking good. We're looking good for all B's. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's really it. I definitely think um, I'm going to do like a quick little reflections of Cleo. I definitely, of the pre law summer too. So I definitely think that if you want a jump start to law school, um, if you're looking for something to do the summer between when you uh something between law school like right before you start i would definitely recommend doing this program because i did learn a lot about um law school i learned about cold calling so now i feel like i'm a little bit more prepared for that like i'm not going to be like uh uh um like it's not going to be a shock to me um so we definitely definitely like did a heavy emphasis on the socratic method um i also learned how to brief a case how to read a case which is important i learned how to read cases because even though I took that like um, that paralegal course, it really did not prepare me of how to read a case and how to actually handle the amount of reading that I would have to do in law school. And I also want to mention the TAs. The TAs that we had were phenomenal. They literally asked any little answered any little bitty tiny baby minute question we could have ever thought of asking they answered it they answered it with grace and i really truly appreciate it um you know thank you so very much darby harvey maddie claire kate and last but not least jackie i freaking love you guys thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to be with us for the last four weeks jackie for all six weeks thank you so much for being willing to take like to do that for us and helping us with understanding certain topics and how to do certain things i truly appreciate it i know the rest of my cohort we they truly appreciate it and i just want to make sure i thank you guys on this video within my cohort like I will forever have their back. Like, if they ever like, oh, like, I'm going to be in California. Like, can I sleep on your couch? Like, yes. Like, you have a place to stay. Like, I know I can go if I ever go to Texas or if I ever go to New York. I have, especially New York. Okay, if I ever go to New York, I have a bunch of people I could probably, like, sleep on their couch. Because so many, like, there's a lot of people that were in New York or just the East Coast in general. So, like, I know that if I ever go somewhere, like, outside of California, I will have a place to stay. I won't have to worry about that so i definitely 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 love that um but yeah that's pretty much it with the cleo vlog i hope you guys really enjoyed it but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified every single time i upload a video and i will see y'all in the next video bye guys